Okay, so this is uh, a continuation of uh, from part one, where we were collecting the data, and now we have uh, data for two profiles, for two sections, and uh, we are trying to interpret the data. So uh, the legend here uh, that has uh, from blue to red colors uh, shows the resistivity. The lowest resistivity is blue, and the highest resistivity is red. So uh, from the two profiles here, you can see that uh, from the surface, uh, most of the material is uh, low resistivity until uh, a depth of around uh, 230 meters, where we have uh, slightly higher uh, resistivity. And uh, this just implies that this is uh, the aquifer and it is continuous. Uh, an aquifer, for those who don't know, is a rock that is uh, permeable uh, enough to hold water. But uh, <coughs> as we move uh, through the, the profile from uh, point 22, we can see that the resistivity increases. This means that the rock um, is uh, impervious and cannot hold water. So this would not be a very good point to, to drill a borehole. Uh, same case with the uh, the second profile, uh, most of the resistivity uh, on the top parts is lower, but when we get to around 230 meters, you can see that the resistivity increases, meaning that the rock is uh, impervious. But uh, beyond 270 meters, then we have low resistivity, which implies that uh, we have a good uh, permeable rock that can uh, hold a lot of water. So if we were to drill in both of them, uh, the best one would be uh, the first profile here and uh, we would recommend drilling around this section which has uh, 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 you know an aquifer from 230 meters uh, going down to almost 300 meters this section as I said will not be very good uh, in our interpretation we also think that this might be a fault a fault zone where uh, the left side is the down throw and the right side is the up throw and uh, looking at uh, the maps also we we use maps to interpret uh, this data and you can see where our location is and these are neighboring boreholes that have uh, been drilled labeled with uh, the yield in cubic meters per hour so we have um, uh, located our borehole close to here and we suspect that there is a fault line that is uh, moving north-south. That is why uh, boreholes around here have uh, significantly higher yields than the rest. So in the recommendation, we would recommend uh, the client to drill uh, this location at uh, around uh, 300 meters. That is the end of my presentation. My name is uh, Samuel Monieri. I'm a geologist.